I'd like to kick things off by saying, and I, and I think you will all agree, that Louise looks nothing less than absolutely stunningly beautiful today. What can I say about Louise? It's, it's, it's impossible to encapsulate 28 years of a daughter's life into what really is a, a, quite a brief speech. But what I will say is whether Louise is a friend, a relative, or in this case, a wife, I can guarantee that she'll be loving, loyal. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Liv. I think you've achieved. I'm the wonderful woman you turned out to be. Inside and out. Love you lots. In all seriousness now, Sean, I'm proud of the man you've become, the man you are, and also the woman you've married, and also who you are, because without you, kid, I honestly don't think my childhood would have been anything like what it was. But I know between me and you, and I know you know, that me and you grown up inseparable, and no one ever can replace that. I promise that I'll always try to make our love and friendship last. It is my hope that our feelings will always remain strong when we look to our future together with both hope and happiness and remembering this day. For thousands of years, couples have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. May they be a daily reminder of your resolve to live together in unity, love and happiness. And let these rings also be a sign that despite its occasional sorrows, true love has no beginning and no end. Some of you might not know, but um, Sean and Lou were an item when they went to school together at Rainhill High when they were teenagers. Obviously their paths led in different directions and, and thankfully, they met up again years later. Um, this is when Sean had come back from Australia and uh, they started dating. And Sean came to our house and I was, I was quite pleased because he was like, he had a sense of humour, he was nice, he was witty, real clean cut lad. And then what happened, about the fifth time he was coming down, Louise was signed up to me and she said those like dreaded words to me. She said, Mum, there's something I need to tell you about Sean. And my heart just sank and I thought, oh my God, he's married. Or, he's, got, <laughs> he's got a load of kids in Australia or, or something like that. And then she did deliver the hammer blow because it was much, much worse. She told me he was an Evertonian. <laughs> and I know that might divide, divide the room. <laughs> you only have to look at Sean and Lou together to understand that they have the love and sincerity for each other. It's just painting the obvious how much they care for each other. Well, where do we start? Everything you see today is pretty much down to her and she's done a great job. And you were married her for something. The best way I could describe Lou is she's boss, really. She really is. I never thought after knowing her in high school and copping off with her in year <laughs> nine that I would be marrying her today. We arranged to meet up for a couple of drinks this one Saturday night in June 2012 at a place called New York Sports Bar on Alton Road. When she arrived, all I remember was turning around 
and being taken back by how gorgeous she actually was. That night, I fell in love with her, and now we're here today, man and wife. So this is the final, most important toast of them all. Please, could you just stand for this one last time for my wife, Louise Moore, the love of my life. It's Louise.